This is the day after our 72 hour fast. What do you do now? Hi, this is Jane Mitten from Jane Does Keto. Follow me on YouTube at Jane Mitten. And uh, yesterday at about 5 p.m. we finished our 72 hour fast. So you should be feeling great having that regeneration of all of the cells in your body. And today you still wanna eat kind of, I would say two small meals. Uh, make sure you get the fat and the protein in and stay away from sugar, alcohol, and certainly heavy carbs. And as we look further into this week on April 22nd, we are starting an OMAD 30 day challenge. One meal a day for 30 days from April 22nd until May 21st. And if you really want to get into better wellness, you want to do this OMAD with us. What happens is you're fasting for about 22 hours a day, and then you're eating, eh, I would say between three and six, so somewhere in there. And you know, I usually keep it to an hour and a half to two hour window <clears throat> so that you're fasting, as I said, about 22 to 23 hours a day. And what that does for you is, is a lot of things. Most importantly, it gives the digestive system, the gut, a chance to restore, relax, repair, as the rest of the body does also repair and restore. So uh, if you wanna lose weight more quickly, if you want to bring your blood pressure down, your glucose down, um, if you wanna get into bikini season, um, shape. Now would be the time to do it because we're going to finish by May 21st. So just before Memorial Day. So one of the things that I have strived to do on keto for a year is to not purchase the keto processed and packaged foods. Now some things I have to buy in a package, but very few. So the idea is more of the ketotarian lifestyle, which is very different from regular keto, which some people think, oh, keto's like Atkins. So you're eating meat six times a day and you know, you're having bacon four times a day. Nothing could be further from the truth. In fact, I never ate really beef in my life and have started eating a little bit simply because I can get more fat that way but uh, you, you don't have to eat beef by any means, and we're certainly not following Atkins. So what we're doing is eating the most organic, the most whole foods, nothing pro processed or packaged. So we have to ensure on OMAD, on one meal a day, that we're getting all of our nutrients. So it really becomes eating to live, not living to eat. It's it's very important how we put the food together to ensure that you know we get all the micronutrients, the nutrients, uh, so that we feel great and we're in radiant health. So what I've done is I've created a couple of meals for the first few, and I just wanna tell you what they are. So for the first four days, this is what we're gonna eat. Salmon with dill, green beans, Brussels sprouts, caramelized, and a salad, a special salad with cheese and things like that. Um, the next day, a lemon butter cod with mint, cauliflower, rice, uh, peppers, sun-dried tomatoes, just a few for taste, and a kale salad. Uh, the third day, we're gonna have sausage. Now, of course, you can have um, faux sausage. Uh, you can do whatever you want there. You can even grind up you know, turkey or chicken uh, and do it that way. With, and of course, all of these things are organic. So whatever meats, whether they be fish, chicken, or beef, they're always organic. They're always the highest quality you can find because you're finding you're eating a lot less times a day. So you can definitely afford to spend more money on that one meal. And that way you're getting even better nutrition. So organic sausage with caramelized onions, green peppers, uh, microgreens and pimentos, all kind of in a stir fry. The next day, day four, I plan on having eggs, and I'm not, it's gonna be surprised how we're gonna make them. 
but definitely the best organic cage-free eggs uh, that you can find. Uh, duck eggs are especially excellent because of the big yolks. And remember, you know, fat is your friend. Fat makes you thin and carbs and sugar make you fat. So eggs and bacon or turkey bacon, anything you want, onion, olives, kale and cheese. And we're gonna make them in a particular way that I think you'll enjoy and it makes it easy to prepare. That's another thing. These things are all gonna be easy to prepare even though it's only one meal a day. And uh, day five, we're gonna make tacos, keto terrian style with a homemade sort of salsa. So uh, if you're interested, uh, please uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel, Jane Mitten. I'll uh, also be having information on Instagram at Global Jane. And my goal is simply to help others do what I did. I started in March of 2020 uh, on the Ketotarian lifestyle and quickly thereafter added intermittent fasting, which I think is imperatively important when you put the two together. And I have lost uh, 66 pounds as of today, uh, trying to lose another 25. So I'm right there with you. I know exactly what it's like. Um, and I'll say personally that you know, I missed out on a lot of opportunities in life um, because of the way I felt about myself. And that is a terrible thing to have happen and to realize it should never happen. It shouldn't matter how we look. But I think the combination of how I looked and the way I was eating so of course I was eating sugar and heavy carbs and I would drink from time to time, not much, but that clouded my ability to think as clearly as I needed to about myself and how I thought about myself. So by going on keto and fasting, the greatest thing it did was to heal me from the inside out and the biggest thing it did was to make me feel confident about myself, not just about weight, that is a factor, but definitely about, you know, I'm now in control of something. Uh, the food does not control me. I am in complete control of the food. And if I want to eat differently, I can, but that's what the ketotarian lifestyle does for you. And now, uh, you know, being much lighter, I feel so much more confident about the thought of going to parties where I'm going to be, you know, dressed in shorts or a bathing suit, meeting people on the beach, uh, swimming, um, let alone just a, a nice little black dress or a little white dress. So uh, no matter what age you are, no matter what sex you are, and no matter what health issues you have, this is something that can greatly benefit you. And one more thing about intermittent fasting. If you're a person who is pre-diabetic or diabetic or has you know high blood pressure or a glucose issue with hypoglycemia or has had a stroke or a seizure, epilepsy, Alzheimer or dementia, basically every doctor is recommending fasting. Fasting is the key. And when you're fasting, you very much feel like you can control what you're eating so it's easier to stay on the ketotarian lifestyle. You have no hunger. That's the amazing thing. So please join me, Jane Mitten, on YouTube and subscribe to my channel as we embark this Thursday, April 22nd until May 21st on a 30-day OMAD challenge one meal a day. You'll never feel uh, clearer, more confident, have more energy, or, and lose more weight than you will by doing OMAD. So join me and uh, I look forward to seeing you on Thursday. And uh, I will put up a, a shopping list between now and then. Hope you're having a great day.